Hey, I, um, I mean, we're all in this thing together. Uh, life is a journey. Uh, it's about evolving to be the best you that, that you can be, and that's where I am right now. I'm working constantly on that. Um, uh, ah, wow. Learning to love life, uh, appreciating everybody that's in my life and around me, um, understanding that everybody that is around you may not be for you, and that's okay too. Um, yeah. Getting rid of um, hate, anger, letting that to be the, the, the smallest portion of what I think and feel. I don't, I, you know, if I can eliminate it completely, I would. I'm working on it. <laughs>I get my mindset, you know, I find, I get my medium, I get my, my pad, sketch pad, um, all my utensils, whatever I need, but pencils, erasers, uh, paper, things to shade, uh, throwing some music, uh, some jazz, you know, the, or for me, even old school R&B, some nice mellow music, just to mellow, keep it mellow and, and, uh, and it helps you just, it just helps you think and, and sink into the work that you're doing. toughest part is, is positioning, like the structure of, the, getting the structure of the face like you want it, um, because it's a mask or whatever, but it's still a face. You know, just the proportions of it. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a, a portrait of somebody, so you can take some creative liberties and maybe move things a little bit, because it's metal. So it's, it has a metallic feel to it, so to, to get the smoothness and the lighting so that it all comes like, it gives you a little more of a three-dimensional feel to it. And when developing a character for scenes um, and, and, and bringing those moments to life, it, it's, it's, a, it's a form of shading and coloring. You know, there's light moments, there's, there's in-between moments, there's dark moments, so you, you have to be able to convey those things and, and you put your own artistic license on those things. Uh, I mean, sometimes, well, even if it's, if it's your choice or not, if the director has his idea and then you have to see what his idea is and you still have to bring that out and it's still all about coloring and putting in the uh, emotion into it. And the same thing with drawing, when you draw those lines, those character lines, uh, the lights and the darks, it's, it's just a lot of um, uh, emotion in that. I mean, when you look at some things, you can feel, you know, sometimes, you, you know, especially if you're drawing people, and uh, there's an expression on their faces. I mean, you have to really bring that out. And that's that's an art form to be able to do that. I do pen and ink sometimes. I like that, and I'll dabble with charcoal. But uh, my strongest uh, medium would be uh, uh, sketching. I am Chris Mann, and I am a sketch artist. You know, some people follow. Uh, the written book techniques, you know, me, myself, I kind of just go for broke. Um, I've been kind of drawing for, probably was the first thing I actually started doing in the art form was, was drawing and then um, music and then acting in that order. Um, and uh, right now I do more acting than anything else. <laughs> uh, the drawing a lot of times becomes a uh, therapeutic thing for me. Like if I'm not feeling well, uh, you know, and I need, I need to uh, unwind uh, or just lay back and, and get into a zone and uh, think. You know, over the years, I mean, I, I've, had, I've had tough times, you know what I mean? Um, uh, my parents split up when I was younger. I um, uh, lost my mother when I was 13. Uh, I went through... Uh, a period of, um, <laughs> ooh, this is tough. Uh, it's just family things, you know, where uh, being abused, you know. Um, yeah, so the times like that when, when you feel like you're alone and there's nobody there for you and, and you're trying to answer questions as to why things are happening to you growing up. I mean, it's just like early years. It's really some really tough times. I didn't even cover all of it, but I'm just giving you a taste. And um, so yeah, that uh, drawing, 
that's how I kept my sanity. This is how you clean your kneaded eraser. It gets dirty, so you gotta pull it apart, and it literally it actually gets lighter as you do it. So you, I don't know where the dirt goes, but it comes off of here. You gotta keep pulling it apart till it gets, uh, gets cleaner. It's like a piece of putty almost, pretty much. And this is uh, a picture I did of my girls when they were babies. They were, well, they always gonna be my babies, but I did this one uh, years ago. Uh, actually, it was in a frame, and the frame broke, so it, it's been out of the frame for a while, but that's the picture I did of them. Uh, this is uh, a portrait I did of my father-in-law, my, my, my wife's father, and we actually, they liked it so much, they actually put it on a t-shirt right here, <laughs> and uh, we used it as a memorial to celebrate his birthday. Uh, this is my grandmother, uh, my mom's side, my mom's mother, uh, my grandma Cindy, she lived to be 83, I think it was, I think she, but she's a beautiful person, man, so I had to do one for her. Unfortunately, I got this blown up, and the place that I took it to somehow misplaced my original, so all I have is this here. Uh, this is her sister, my Aunt Sally. Uh, she also, another beautiful person that was my mom's favorite aunt, you know, and everybody loved it. We called her Aunt Teen. Everybody loved her to death. I mean, lately, over the last few years, I've been doing portraits of family members, uh, actually ones that have passed. It, um, I don't, I wouldn't say closure because I've, I've come to understand that they never leave you anyway. They're always around you. They're, they may, even, if they can, they're going to guide you as much as they can. They're going to help. But um, I guess it, it's a, a form or a way of just being close to them. You know, this is something special. This is my gift to them. Even though, you know, since I can't see you anymore, I can't wake up every day, I can't call you, but here it is. This is something that I did to keep that closeness between me and them. I think what got me interested first was watching my dad. My dad was very good uh, at sketch art as well. And I saw some of the things that he had done and I immediately picked up a pencil and, and started doing it. I said, if he can do it, it's gotta, you know, I, I was a little kid too, man. And um, it just so happened that I think I picked that up from him. Um, my mom was pretty good with, our, with drawing too, but she wasn't, as, I don't think she had a real passion for it like my dad did. And, um, so I'm, I'm talking like five, six years old, you know, just picked up the pencil and, you know, and you look at other kids' drawings and you can tell yours was a little bit better than theirs, you know, and, uh, and then I, uh, it, it, was, it was something that the family actually recognized. I had an aunt that actually sent me to the Moore School of Art in the seventh grade. They didn't have to encourage me to do it, you know what I mean? It was, it was literally just something that I took to, like, breathing. and. Um, and, and I guess to, to some degree, I almost took it for granted. I probably should have focused on it even more. I mean, what I do now, I think is pretty good work, you know, but I'm sure that if I had stayed in it longer and studied longer, I'm, I'd probably be doing some work at being somebody's museum somewhere. <laughs> I'm very detailed and I pay close attention to detail. That's, that's what I like for my uh, art to say, um, as, as in just like in the acting. Um, you know, your attention to detail and, and um, artistic ability. Um, uh, I guess some in-depthness to my character. Like, you know, I'm just not sitting here with nothing going on in my head, you know. There's, there's a sense of intellectualism in the art, you know. It shows uh, a sense of uh, knowledge of, of, of that particular craft. Um, yeah, um, maybe even to a degree some well-roundedness to me from the art, you know, it's creation, creating, that's a great thing, that's a good thing there, yeah, think about it, creating, that's what, this world was created, everything that's in it has been created, so when you pick up the paper and the pencil, you're creating again, so it's part of uh, what is.